truck tire was flat this morning. There was enough rust in that tube right there to start a rust factory. And it did uh, poke a hole in the tube. This all seems familiar. Just a little bit. We missed out on the patch here. We're in a hurry. All right, we've got to uh, put a fuel filter on this baby doll. Just as soon as we find it. Well, after running around all over town trying to find parts for the car, couldn't find them, they're gonna have to be ordered. Finally got back out here just at the wrong time of the day and got a little primer on these. About 15 minutes, they're gonna get some black. No, I mean gray. My trusty timer is going. These are just about as reliable as some of Harry's fishing stories. Alright, this is the first code. I'm out here. It's getting late. I ain't got no choice. It's gonna rain tomorrow. A few minutes, I'll give it a second coat, and this camera's dead. Almost paint time again to get this second coat on here. Crap, he beat me to it. Well, all right. I'll get it next time. This is a reenactment of what I'd done last night. The camera wasn't out here and everybody was inside. There was nobody out here. These weigh what, 15 pounds a piece? I come out here to save a trip, I'm gonna get them both at the same time. And I'm holding these by a little small paint hook. So I'm walking this way. I'm walking this way. Going towards the shop. You have to hold them out beside you, you know. Time I get in here, see if it's a slip back. Then I slip down to my fingers. This one's trying to gall me here. I see my worst scenario. Help me. They slipped around like this. <sighs> Look at the sweat, would you? <laughs> I come in here. Now I've hit that. I was gonna hang them right up there on these nails over here, over here. Right in there. So I realized I can't, uh, I can't get the hooks off my hands. And I said, oh boy, let me go get them. So I come out here. By that time, I'm right here at the steps. 
and I'm hollering for Jim. He's in there with the TV wide open. He can't hear me. And then here comes uh, Amber running out. And the first thing she does is she grabs for the painted part. Okay, this is killing me, grab one. <laughs> and that's what happened last night. Whew. Look at the sweat. Man. Now we're gonna get smart ass here. He thinks he can do it better than I can. As I'm speaking, I got sweat rolling down my face. No, 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 don't be rushing. Take your time. That's what I do, I take my time. See, he doesn't know what's going on. Like you didn't. Let me no, you, you go up this way, you go right in here. Well, I didn't take the detour. You're going to hang the parts up. You still hold them. See, you don't know. You don't know what happens. You see. See, that's where he still got to. He can still hang them up. All right, you got two painted parts. Can you get them on there, Neil? Show off. Oh, yeah. I told you why it's so easy. Where's the other one? Right here. Here a minute ago. Oh, oh. Yeah, see, he doesn't know all what happened, so he made sure that hook didn't slip down. And this is why it ain't gonna slip down too much. Look how much I'm sweating. That's why it ain't gonna slip too much. I've been out there painting them stencils. Yeah, yeah. And that paint's sticking to the hook, so it ain't gonna slide through these fingers. They can't touch anything. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Ain't no rushing. You walk slow, nice, and calm. Why do I have to do it retarded? I didn't go that way. I went through here. I don't think you can go, go through, through there. there. All right, now put them on. I'm going to throw them on the ground. Hurry up. I'm going to throw them on the ground. You can't hold them? Down. Just caught a load of carp. Want any? Huh? <laughs> <laughs>